Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss about ratios to percent. Sometimes parts are given to us in the form of ratios, and we need to convert those to percentages. Consider the following example. Let us take the example. Example 14. Rina's mother said, "To make idlis, you must take two parts rice and one part urad dal. What percentage of such a mixture would be?" Rice and what percentage would be urad dal? In terms of ratio, we would write this as rice as, as rice is to urad dal is two is to one. Now two plus one is three is the total of all parts. This means two by three part is rice and one by three part is urad dal. The percentage of rice would be two by three into hundred percent. That is two hundred by three is equal to sixty six by into two by 3 percent percentage of urad dal would be 1 by 3 into 100 percent that is 100 by 3 that is equal to 33 whole 1 by 3 percent now for example 15 if rupees 250 is to be divided amongst ravi raju and roy so that ravi gets two parts raju three parts and roy five parts how much money will each get what will be 18 percentage Three parts. The parts which the three boys are getting can be written in terms of ratios as two is to three is to five. Total of the parts is two plus three plus five is ten. Amount received by each two by ten into two fifty that is rupees fifty. Three by ten into rupees two fifty that is seventy five. Five by ten into rupees two fifty that is one hundred twenty five. Now Ravi gets two by into hundred percent that is twenty percent. Raju gets 3 by 10 into 100 percent, that is 30 percent. Roy gets 5 by 10 into 100 percent, that is 50 percent. Right? Increase or decrease as percent. There are times when you need to know the increase or decrease in a certain quantity as percentage. For example, if the population of a state is increased from 5 lakh 50 thousand to 6 lakh 5 thousand. And the increase in population can be understood better if we say in the population increased by 10 percent. How do we how do we convert the increase or decrease in a quantity as a percentage of the initial amount? Consider the following example. Let us take example question example 16. A school team won six games this year against four games won last year. What is the percent increase? The increase in the number of wins or amount of change is six minus four is equal to two. The percentage increase is equal to amount of amount of change by original amount or base into 100. Increase in the number of points divided by original number of points into 100. Right? That is change. Increase in the number of points to and original number is 4 into 100. That is 50 percent. That is percent increase is 50. Right? Now. The number of illiterate person in a country decreased from 150 lakhs to 100 lakhs in 10 years. What is the percentage of decrease? Original amount, the number of illiterate person initially is equal to 150 lakhs. Amount change, that is decrease in number of illiterate person equal 150 minus 100, that is 50 lakhs. For percentage of decrease, is equal to amount of change by original amount into 100. This 50 by 150 into 100, that is 33, 1 by 3 percent, right? Now, price is related to an item or buying and selling. I bought it for rupees six hundred and sell it for rupees six hundred ten. The buying price of an item is known as its cost price. The buying price of an item is known as its cost price. It is written as CP. In short, the price in which you sell is known as the selling price, or in short, SP. What did you say is better, or You sell the item at a lower price, same price, or higher price than your buying price. You can decide whether the sale was profitable or not depending on the cost price and selling price. If cost price is less than selling price, then you made a profit. The selling price minus cost price. If cost price is less selling price, then you are not you are in a no profit, no loss situation. If cost price is greater than selling price, then you have a loss. That is cost price minus loss selling price. Let us try to interpret the statement related to prices of items. A, bought, a toy bought for rupees 72 is sold at rupees 80. A 
a t-shirt bought for rupees 120 is sold for rupees 100 a cycle bought for rupees 800 is sold at rupees 940 let us consider the first statement the buying price is 72 and the selling price is rupees 80 this means selling price is more than cost price hence profit made equal to sell sp minus cp that is 100 minus 80 72 is equal to 8 now try interpreting the remaining statements in a similar way profit or loss as a percentage profit or loss as percentage the profit or loss can be converted to a percentage it is always calculated on the cost price for the above examples we can find the profit percent or loss percent let us consider the example related to the toy we have CP is equal to 72, SP is equal to 82, 80 to 80, profit is equal to rupees 10. To find the percentage of profit, Neha and Shekhar have used the following methods. Neha does it. Neha does it this way. That is profit profit percent is equal to profit by cost price into 100. 88 by 72 into 100. Then you, get a, you are getting 11 into 1 by 9. Shekhar does it this way. On rupees 72, profit is rupees 8. On rupees 100, profit is rupees 8 by 32 into 100, 11 whole 1 by 9. Thus, the profit is rupees 8 and the profit percent is 11 whole 1 by 9. Similarly, you can find the loss percent in the same second situation here. CP is equal to 120, SP is equal to 100, the loss equal to 120 minus 100, rupees 100, that is 20 rupees. Loss percent is loss by cost price into 100, that is 120 by 120 into 100, the 50 by 3 is equal to 16 whole 2 by 3. On rupees 120, the loss is rupees 20. So on rupees 100, the loss is equal to 20 by 120 into 100. The loss person is 16 whole 2 by 3. Now you see that the given any two out of the three quantities related to prices is cost price. So selling price, amount of profit or loss or the percentage, we can find the rest. Now example 18 we will deal. The cost of a flower vase. The cost of a flower vase is 120. If the shopkeeper sells it at a loss of 10%, find the price at which it is sold. We have given that cost price is equal to rupees 120. Loss percent is equal to 10. We have to find the selling price. So one does it like this. Loss of 10% means cost price is 100 and loss is rupees 10. Therefore, selling price would be 100 minus 10, that is 90. When cost price is 100, selling price is rupees 90. Therefore, if cost price were rupees 120, then selling price is equal to 90 by 100 into 120, that is 108. Anandi does it like this. Loss 10% of the cost price. 10% of 120, that is 10 by 100 into 120, that is rupees 12. Therefore, SP equal to cost price minus loss, that is equal to 108. Thus, by both methods, we get the selling price as rupees 108. Now, selling price of a toy car is rupees 540. If the profit made by the shopkeeper is 20%, what is the cost price of this toy? We are given that selling price is equal to rupees 540 and the profit is 20%. We need to find the cost price. Amina does it like this 20% profit will mean that if cost price is rupees 100, profit is rupees 20. Therefore, selling price is equal to 120. 100 plus 20 is 120. Thus, now selling price is 100. When selling price is 120, then cost price is rupees 100. Therefore, when selling price is rupees 540, cost price is 100 by 120 into 540, that is 450, right? And here also, Arun does it like this: profit percent, profit is 20% of cost price, and SP equal to CP plus profit. 540 CP plus 20% of cost price, that is CP plus 20 by 100 into CP is equal to 1 plus 1 by 5 CP. Therefore, 6 by 6, 6 by 5 CP, therefore, 540 into 5 by 6, that is rupees 450, right? Therefore, by both methods, the cost price is rupees 450. Now, charge given on borrowers, borrowed money or simple interest. Charge given on borrowed money or simple interest. So, when he said they were going to buy a new scooter, Mohan asked her whether they had the money to buy it. So, when he said her father was going to take a loan from a bank, the money you borrow is known as some borrowed or principal. 
This money would be used by the borrower for some time before it is returned. For keeping this money for some time, the borrower has to pay some extra money to the bank. This is known as interest. You can find amount you have to pay at the end of the year by adding the sum borrowed and interest. That is, amount is equal to principal plus plus interest. Interest is generally given in percent for a period of one year. It is written as 10% per year or per annum or in short 10% per annum. annum. 10% per annum means on every rupees 500 borrowed rupees 10 is the interest you have to pay for one year. Let us take example and see how this works. Anita takes a loan of rupees 5000 at rupees 15% per year as a rate of interest. Find the interest she has to pay at the end of one year. The sum borrowed is rupees 5000, rate of interest is equal to 15% per year. This means if 100 rupees is borrowed, she has to pay rupees 15 as interest for one year. If she has borrowed rupees 5000, then the interest she has to pay for one year is equal to 50 by 100 into 5000, that is 750. Thus, at the end of the year, she has to give an amount of 5000 plus 750, that is 5750. We can take a general relation to find interest for one year. Take P as a principal or sum or R, R percent as a rate, rate percent per annum. Therefore, on every 1000 borrowed, the interest paid is rupees R. Now, therefore, on P borrowed, the interest paid for one year would be R into P by 100 or PR by 100. Interest for multiple years. If the amount borrowed for more than one year, the interest is calculated for the period the money is kept for. For example, if Anita returns the money at the end of two years and the rate of interest is same, then she would have to pay twice the interest, that is 750 for the first year and 750 for the second year. The way of calculating interest for principal is not changed, is known as simple interest. As the number of years increase, the interest also increases. For Rs. 100 borrowed for three years at 18%, the interest to be paid at the end of three years, 18 plus 18 plus 18, that is 3 to 18. Rupees 54. We can find the general form for simple interest for more than one year. We know that on a principal P, rupees P, and R percent rate of interest per year, the interest paid for one year equal to RP by 100. Therefore, the I paid for two years would be PRT by 100, that is PRT by 100. And amount you have to pay at the end of two years is amount equal to principal plus interest. Just in the case of a price related to items, if you if you are given any two of the three quantities in the relation P T R by 100, I equal to, you could find the remaining quantity. Now we will deal with example 21. If Monohar pays an interest of rupees 750 for two years on a sum of rupees 4500, find the rate of interest. I is equal to P R T by 100, P I is 750 is equal to P 4500 R is 2 T is time R divided by 100. That we got the rate as 8.41 by 3 percent. For two years, the interest paid is 750. For one year, interest paid is 750 by 2, that is 375. On rupees 4500, interest paid is 375. Therefore, on rupees 100, rate of interest paid is equal to 375 by 4500 into 100, the 8 whole 1 by 3 percent. Right? In this way, you can find the various amount or simple interest dear friends if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you everybody for watching this video